Welcome to Windows 7 Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about creating a file. As always, this is Tech Dave, brought to you by Automated Systems Inc. Now why do we create files? Mostly, it's to save something. Computers have these hard drives which can save tons and tons of data and pictures and graphs and presentations. And what we want to do is save it forever and ever. Okay, how we create these files is through programs that are installed on your computer. Common programs are Notepad and Paint, which come with Windows, and paid programs like Microsoft Office can help you create almost anything you can imagine. Let's jump right into it. What I want you to do to begin is go over to your Start menu, which is in the lower left corner. Now click on All Programs, so we can see the entire list of everything installed on your Windows computer. As you can see, I have Microsoft Office, which can create almost anything. But in case you don't, we're going to go to Accessories, which has a list of tools that Windows uses to create files, including Paint and Notepad, which we talked about, and also a calculator in case you need it. For our purposes today, we're going to use a program called WordPad, which is very similar to Notepad. When you click on it, it comes up as a window which you can input text into. Let's type in there my email address. Tech Dave's email is david at automatedsystemsinc.net. And we have just created a file. All we have to do now is save it so that we have it forever. Click the disk in the left corner, save. Now, if we don't know where to save it, what to save it, we're going to know that our home screen is also called desktop. So we're going to click there and save it on the desktop so we can find it later. Now, come down to file name and name it whatever you want so you'll remember what it is. This one's called Tech Dave's email. And you do that by changing it right there in the file name bar. And we're going to click save. That's it. We've created a text document that's right there on our home page. Let's double click it, make sure it's the right one. Perfect. Exit out of there, and you've done it. So congratulations. You now know how to create a text file and save it to your computer so that you'll have it forever. This is almost the same process with pictures and paint and anything you do in Microsoft Office. Be sure to visit us online at Automated Systems Inc. for more videos. And any questions and comments, email me at david at automatedsystemsinc.net. Thanks again. This is Tech Dave.